My father did believe that trees have lives. Some of them live better lives than others, and the ones who have lived a good life deserve a chance to have a second life through becoming furniture. He was religious, he was artistic, uh, he was just a great human being. He listened to his clients. It's not as though they would come and be told what they wanted. For me, there's a certain spirituality in every work that I've ever handled by Nakashima. I think what's really interesting about the Nakashima market is that it's moved to Europe. It's not one city, it's Paris, it's London, it's Milan, and it's Brussels. Is practically unique in the catalog of the decorative arts. George Nakashima's furniture affords me the opportunity to mix a, a warmth and an organic element. The choice of woods, the choice of the base, the configuration of the piece, the placement of the butterflies, the use of sapwood, all the de details, the myriad details that he can attend to, he's done brilliantly. Mm -hmm. 